One of the common misconceptions in regards to reduced pressure zone backflow prevention devices is that due to inherent pressure changes in the water supply system, both on site and from the supply mains, these valves will only occasionally release small amounts of water from the relief port to accommodate. This is actually incorrect. Where a DCV has the ability to return contaminated water into the system if both check valves fail, the RPZ uses both gravity and pressure differentials to safely release water from the relief port in the case of a backflow event, thus totally protecting the water supply even if there is a total failure of both check valves. Unfortunately, in the case of catastrophic failure of the device where both check valves have failed, the RPZ operating as it should can release vast amounts of water from the relief port at full bore and whatever supply pressure the valve is receiving. As an example, this 80mm RPZ fed by an 80mm service and operating at 640 kPa has been installed to illustrate just how big a problem a dumping RPZ could create if installed without adequate drainage to accommodate the valve. Here we can see the relief port ramp up from one quarter half three quarter up to full flow and the amount of water being released is substantial. To illustrate, a 60 litre bucket is placed under the relief port and at full flow takes just around two seconds to fill. At full bore, the valve is releasing just under 40 cubic metres of water per hour. If we equate this to a small plant room with an RPZ installed without adequate drainage, a small plant room measuring 5 metres by 5 metres by 3 metres has a total area of 75 cubic metres and will take just under two hours to totally fill the room. Or the same valve will take about 35 hours to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool with a volume of 1.4 million litres. With this in mind, imagine what a two or 300 millimetre valve is capable of releasing. When installing an RPZD, it's very important to ensure adequate drainage is available to avoid flooding and property damage due to a full bore discharge.